What's going on guys, this is Leo and tonight I'm bringing you another firearms review. This time it's going to be of my newly acquired Beretta 92. Uh, the Beretta 92 was one of the very first firearms I ever shot at range. I went out to a local range of mine and I paid $10 and rented one. I didn't have a lot of experience when it came to trigger control or uh, the proper breathing techniques or grips. And I was still able to put rounds on target very accurately and I was very impressed. This gun was actually the gun that introduced me to the shooting sports. Uh, after that, I bought a lot of guns. You all seen most of my reviews. And I, just recently, I had a really good chance of getting a really good deal on a Beretta, and I went for it. Uh, the Beretta I picked up for around 450 bucks. Came with three 15 round magazines, as you can see here. And it's just a really, you know, well balanced shooter. Uh, the Beretta itself has a fixed front sight and a windage adjustable rear sight. Uh, the sights in the Berettas are some of the best sights from a factory. They actually take pride in uh, naming that they actually sight their guns at the factory before they put them in the box so they are uh, ready to shoot, ready to go, and accurate out of the box, which is a true testament because uh, with my experience, out of the box, they put down uh, lead right where you're aiming, and that's a really good thing. Also, the firearm has a very unique and very distinctive, actually kind of sexy, which is one of the features that I like about the gun, open slide design. Uh, the slide is in a matte black corrosion resistant finish, and the open design actually eliminates all failure to feast or failure to eject malfunctions that you get with other designs. In part, because you have 180 degrees of open space for the rounds to feed and eject, as you can see, the magazines sit very high on the frame, so the rounds almost just horizontally enter the chamber. There's really not a lot of upward movement of the round as the uh, slide pushes it forward. Also, the same thing happens as you eject. As the round is coming outwards, the pressure of the follower pushes the other round up, ejecting the round with no problems. Uh, the barrel is a uh, locking design which keeps it lined up with the frame that also helps with the reliability of the weapon and because of its reliability that's why it's got accepted it as the firearm that replaced the 1911 with our military uh, it comes with three 15 round magazines with a proper low 15 rounds of 9mm can be very deadly and 9mm to me being a really easy shooting easy recalling bullet is just perfect for self defense home defense something that I can shoot uh, double taps with ease and still maintain the shots or the groups within that 9 and 10 battle zone on the targets. The gun also has a ambidextrous safety lever that's located on the right and on the left hand side of the gun. The lever has two purposes. One, it um, disconnects the trigger bar from the trigger. Okay, when you engage the safety the trigger basically dies. There's no movement of the trigger bar, no movement of the hammer as you pull the trigger. And two, it serves as a decocker for when the gun is cocked and you have a run in the chamber. It just gives you an easy way of dropping the hammer. As you pull the safety down, you'll see that there's a piece that comes out and blocks the firing pin out of the way, or moves the firing pin out of the way, and it decocks the hammer after that function has been done. Okay. The trigger mechanism on the new Berettas is still a little bit rough okay uh, the trigger has a little bit of creep and a little bit of scrape feel to it I figure after hundreds of rounds with it it's gonna get better it has to get better a lot of people on the forum say they do you just gotta put them through spaces and shoot a couple hundred rounds through them and they will get better it's a double action single action weapon meaning you can shoot it from the double action round in the chamber hammer down which is actually the way most cops carry is their gun because it gives you a long, hard trigger pull, which is actually, you know, a good and safe way to carry a gun. But it also, once you fire that first round and the slide travel backwards, as you can see, the hammer stays to the back, giving you a shorter trigger travel, okay, and a lighter pull weight, making it single action. So it's a pretty neat setup, okay. Also gives you a double strike capability in case you have a round that didn't go off. This is not something I advertise because um, you don't want to have to be trying to strike a second round. It's best to do the just eject the round, put a fresh round in the chamber and fire again. 
that will most certainly give you a fresh round that will actually go off rather than trying to sit there and hit the hammer or that primer twice which in most cases doesn't actually do anything but uh you know it's a feature that's there and it's always good to have features the frame itself has a very wide trigger guard to it you can put uh, your fingers in there very easily if you wear gloves if you're somewhere where uh, half of the year you're covered by snow and you have to still carry your gun uh, it's always good to have a gun with a wide trigger guard because you can put your gloves on and still be able to manage the um, the trigger without any problems especially when it's on the single action mode the trigger travels backwards so much that you can actually put two fingers in the trigger guard with no problems the grips on the guns are actually kind of wide uh, for people with really small hands this might not be the proper gun for them I have medium sized hands and I can grasp the gun with no problems okay actually fairly easy and the front of the trigger guard has some serrations here for people with really long hands or big hands, they can actually put a finger on the front of the trigger guard helping you stabilize the weapon during recoil a little bit better. The magazine release is uh, also ambidextrous. You can switch it from the right to the left with ease, making it good for uh, right hand shooters. The gun takes down very easily. All you have to do is lock it to the back. Okay, there's a push pin here on the back that you push down and rotate this lever here and all you have to do is release slide and pull the weapon to the front uh, easy to clean easy to maintain it has a chrome line barrel so just a simple bore snake swiping through there uh, brings it back to just shiny specs and the chrome line barrel actually gives you a longer service life on the barrel this one in particular didn't have any finish or any wear on the finish itself so I'm pretty sure it wasn't really used a lot. The barrel doesn't have any markings on it. So I'm pretty happy with it. It also has a loaded chamber indicator when there's a round there. There's a little bit of red right here on the extractor that protrudes from the frame or from the slide. So you can see that there's a round in the chamber. To put it back together, simply slide the frame back, lock it on the rear, and push that tab back to the top. Okay, guys, this is my Breda 92. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review on it. Um, it's just really one of those great guns. It even comes with a line yard loop. You know, this is something retro. A lot of people don't use it, but if you have to hold ass with it, it'll be a good idea to have a line yard running from your belt to it just in case you go over a hump or a ditch or something and, you know, you won't lose your gun. But uh, it's, it's just full of features that a lot of other com companies don't give you for the price point that you can pick up one of these guns nowadays. Like I said, 450 bucks for a used gun with three max. It's really hard to beat, especially when it's coming from a good um, quality manufacturer as Beretta. Once again, this is my Beretta 92. If you don't have one, go shoot one. You will like it. And uh, I guarantee you, you'll be buying one as your next purchase. Thanks a lot for watching the review, guys. This is Leo signing out. Take care.